So we just had some uh, economic data come out in the States, the NFP news, and it came out really hot and the Dixie started pumping, but this S&P is relatively flat and BTC and some of these altcoins are starting to turn green again. So we got so much to talk about because we might potentially have a green weekend on our hands, even though technically we shouldn't. So we're going to find out now what is going on. And I'm talking Link. Obviously, that thing's been pumping. We're talking Pyth, CFX, Fetch, Rose, Manta, Injective. And I've got David. I've stolen him from the Sniper Club. He's got two setups in the back. One of them might be short. One of them might be a long. So we've got so much to talk about here, guys. Let's get right into this. Gotta love it when the Friday afternoon, there's always pressure here when leading into a Friday afternoon. I'm always thinking, geez, am I gonna give these guys something to some if some fun over the weekend, or are they gonna get absolutely burnt? And then the market turns green and it sort of helps with the excitement just a little bit. And uh, hopefully this stuff is now gonna start holding for us. Um uh, taking a look at link, this thing is just unstoppable at the moment, and I see we've just had a short squeeze. So right now, um, I do have a poll running in the chats. We're gonna play a game now, uh, you and I and uh and uh i want to know link is pumping time to short and i need answers immediately i've got 150 votes so far guys i'm gonna literally i'm trading on what you guys are telling me on two bit now we've done it before and uh you know i faded you guys let's see what you have to say for yourselves this time uh link is actually ripping now into a major resistance area so uh keep these votes coming in i see we've got 100 and, uh, only 160 votes i'm not doing anything until we have about three, four hundred votes there. So keep it going. And uh, then we're going we're gonna to tackle this link situation. Let's see. Uh, well, well, let's just first understand what's going on here in the state. So we had the NFP news, the non-farm payroll news come out. And it came out super hot. Uh, we had 333,000 jobs added. Now, technically, that sounds exciting. But, uh, you know, uh, traders are going to tell you, well, that is actually bad news. For the s p that's actually supposed to send the s p down because that's going to create some kind of inflation for us so we saw immediately when these numbers came out the dixie started absolutely ripping and i got so excited i added to my s p short because we've got bearish divergence on the s p we got a dixie pumping we got bullish uh, nfp news for me it's screaming uh s p short but uh, right now it's holding its level so you looking at uh, the Dixie now on the daily. This is a bullish uh, looking Dixie. And uh, you can see what's going on here. It's pushing into this 3A2 region. And right now I'm laying out an inverse head and shoulders, which is a bullish setup technically. And uh, we might have some big targets playing out here for the Dixie if it starts breaking this 3A2. And uh, remember, a strong Dixie is not really what we want if you want to be long on the S&P. If you've got a pumping Dixie, uh you know the, the s p generally uh, is going to feel some heat so we, we got to we got to try and figure out uh, what's going on here here's the current s p situation and look at this these guys just couldn't care they're just pumping uh this market we've got so many signs here that we needed to get some kind of reversal and uh, you can see we had this uh, bearish divergence busy uh, that we thought was going to start playing out but these guys have just gapped it up again today um probably maybe a mini short squeeze because everyone started trying to short it so we're gonna have to monitor the situation here's my current uh my current shortage uh on the s p so now i've got i've got four uh times s p shorts uh running at the moment so that's about twenty thousand. and uh let's see if we start blowing higher um we might have to start trimming that uh, but uh, we're gonna try and hold this out until monday because you know arthur hayes yesterday was telling us the banks are gonna fall over and he's not touching soul until these banks have fallen over so uh could be a, an interesting weekend ahead but uh, we got to keep eyes on this s p and uh, how is this affecting bitcoin well a little bit a little bit quiet but holding levels and uh, the most important thing for me is that we're getting that dominance uh, rejection uh, at the moment off that 100 day moving average so i'm going to show you now so what is the game plan for this weekend what do we need to keep our eyes on well this is what i'm watching so right now big support for me btc 42,600. You can see what's going on here. It's a 236 fib. We're dancing around the 50 day moving average, and uh, I've got some horizontal support. So, this is a big area. Call it 42,600 42, to 42,700. That's a big level for me. Then, the next area, if they start bleeding us this weekend, maybe some kind of fake move or some kind of fake out, the next level you're looking at 
41,800, another big one for me. And uh, let's not forget last weekend low, uh, which was Saturday. They might want to come test here. So this is uh, 41,400. And then the big dog for me, and uh, I don't really want to get more bearish than that. If we start, to, if we start dipping here, I, I don't want to. I don't absolutely have to. So uh, this forty thousand four hundred, this is a six one eight for me. It's the hundred day moving average, and it's some horizontal. So it's a nice juicy level here. Uh, if they're going to bleed BTC out, so these are key areas you want to look at uh, for potential bounces. If you're sweating, you're sitting there in your positions, you're sweating. You want to look at these areas. Where do we get our relief? And uh, those are the big ones uh, that we need to pay attention to. Right, upside things. Where, where do the bulls get super excited? Well, if BTC carries on in this tight little range and uh, dominance keeps dropping, well, it can do this all day long for all I care. I mean, these alts are just going to absolutely start ripping. So that is probably first prize. BTC in a tight range, dominance dropping, uh, alts firing off everywhere. Um, but uh, if BTC does want to turn super bullish here, uh, big level we need to break. We need to take out this high. 43,800 we must we must crack this high and uh, that's going to confirm that this uptrend is still in play and then we will be able to buy those retests and then we're looking at a situation like this with a nice little rising trend so right now btc is obviously under pressure now to lose this trend which we don't really want to see uh, happen at the moment so uh, we wanted the bulls just want to keep that trend pushing and uh, especially on the weekend i mean remember we came here for fun we trade altcoins for fun and uh, I just want to have fun with these altcoins. And uh, maybe David agrees. David, I've got David in the back. Maybe he's going to agree. <laughs> Always you agree with these alts, man. We, we traded for fun. Okay, we're going to bring David on just now. He's working on a couple of things here for you. Um, okay, 300 votes so far. Okay, the question is, Link is pumping. Is it time to short? Now, let's deal. Let's deal with Link urgently. Um, those of you that, uh, you know, sit back, buy spot positions and thing like that, things like this you're looking at this and you're saying wow this is uh you know this is easy stuff this crypto business you just buy a link and it pumps over the, you know from october onwards and uh you know <laughs> what i can tell you now is that uh, link is now breaking through a nice thick weekly resistance band and what i was saying earlier um on sniper club today i was telling the guys that uh if link is pushing through this weekly resistance band we we potentially have a situation here where everybody knows that number one that it's a major resistance area and uh, number two if everybody starts trying to short the obvious area um what tends to happen we often get some kind of short squeeze so right now i'm watching a potential pop for link and we we've seen it's actually just popped a little bit now but uh, a potential target for this move that i'm looking at for link right now uh, is 19.5 this is another big area for me and uh, i just want to show you why i think that's a big zone and uh, you can do that by pulling a fib from this high down to the lows the absolute lows uh, which were last year and look at this the 618 fib is tying in 100 percent perfectly with this weekly wick over here that you can see at uh, 19.5 so this is an area i'm targeting for a potential short and uh, maybe we're going to get that move here i'm just looking at the votes uh, 59 percent still think link is going to go higher so this is my trading plan for link if anybody wants to know i think we're going to get a short opportunity here at the 618 so i've prepared a little chart for you this is my strategy um at the moment and uh if we can get this move now while we're talking today we might just get very lucky um because i'm ready my two bit account is ready i'm currently long link and uh just bought it here at the bottom of this uh, this little move uh, you can see we had a tight little range on the 15 minutes, just, uh, you know, grabbed a little long in anticipation of a, a, a little pop. So now we've got a pop and uh, maybe we're going to convert that into a short just now. And uh, you just keep these votes coming in here yeah? um, and let me know. Let me know what uh, you think the plan is. You know, maybe I need to carry on holding uh, this long. Maybe we're just going to ride this long to, uh, you know, Valhalla, uh, which looks like 28, 27 28 let's see guys in the chats what's happening here how's everybody um heath says there's uncle dill sorry i'm late heath it's cool as long as you're here um rudy says i hold link long 
<laughs> Yaza says, I am long Pyth 10x. <laughs> so, guys, Pyth and Link, uh, very similar products. Pyth is the Solana version uh, of Link, and I've got a Pyth chart for you. We're going to talk about it. I see they had a Binance listing, and uh, that obviously helped the pumpage there uh, on Pyth, and obviously the current staking narrative on Pyth. So, there's a lot of good things happening there. And Zweletu says he missed the link uprising. <laughs> yeah, this link, this link is a savage, guys. An absolute savage. Um, Mugen says bad tokenomics on link. Well, luckily, we're mainly here to discuss the price action and uh, fundamental debates. You know, sometimes uh, fundamentals aren't my best thing. I rely on the clever people for that. You know, I just draw these pictures on the charts. Um, Christian says he's shorting soul. Well, that's a nice big move. So, um, you know, maybe Dave's got uh, something in the back for us that he's going to bring out. Um, one of his secret uh, secret shorts. So, uh, guys, I've got a lot to get through uh, with you guys. So, the, the first thing I want to do is let's talk about this Pyth situation. And uh, I see we got a listing. Binance has announced that Pyth tokens will be made available through a direct listing. Okay. And that clearly was a result uh, of this mega pump today. And uh, David and I this morning were talking. Uh, we were talking in, in the chats, you know, sometimes we talk in the morning, we discuss trade setups and things like that. And uh, one, of these, uh, the, one of these setups here was looking like a potential short for Pyth. But the Binance news came out and luckily we didn't get involved in this thing because it absolutely pumped this thing. Look at the size of this, uh, this move that they gave us here. A 29% pump. Uh, on Pyth and it was sold very quickly but you can see the guys are trying to buy it back now so those of you interested in Pyth what is the plan how do we do this um you know if the staking narrative is going to continue where do we get in what's uh, what's the plan so what I've got here for you is just a couple of levels of interest that you can watch and uh, the first one is uh, notable after that massive pump that they gave us we had a nice little 618 pullback here to well just a little bit a little bit higher they front ran it uh, to 0 0.47 so what i'm going to say here is watch this area of support for 0 0.47 this is now a nice marker for you guys and you can see what they did here they pumped it up but they sold it and uh, the buyers have stepped in and that's always nice to see uh, when these buyers start stepping in here um, and holding a nice little level so this is your this is your main level for Pyth. is it a long trade from here well it's a tricky one um, if you're trying to jump into a Pyth long now, uh, you're putting yourself in a little bit of risk because this candle has now jumped uh, off the 618. So the only way I would do this as a leverage trader uh, is wait for some kind of move on Pyth onto a nice little support area or some kind of consolidation here. So you need to just be a little bit patient if you're trying to leverage trade Pyth. This is not the greatest entry at the moment. You're looking uh, for something more along these lines uh, at the moment. If you're a spot buyer, well, that's a simple play. Or you're a very low leverage player, uh, that's also a simple play because here's a nice little level for you. And this is a nice little exit plan. Anything under 0 0.47, you can bail um, out of Pyth. And now remember that with the staking narrative on Pyth, um, it seems to be quite a nice little simple system here. It's every Wednesday or Thursday that new epoch opens and people then have to buy the Pyth to go and stake it and uh, that expires then on friday so you can play that cycle so you might see that tuesday wednesday you get some kind of uh, pullback on Python, and then they start pumping it again uh, into uh, into the staking or into the epoch so keep an eyes on Python for the next while as long as there's a staking narrative this thing should uh, should start moving for you guys okay the next one i've got very important here uh, Solana and uh, could be looking interesting so this was my plan earlier so you know <laughs> I mean you, you put a chart like this maybe up maybe down but uh, literally uh, when you get a move like this uh, you need to understand what are the scenarios and uh, you know what what are what are traders looking at and uh, when you get a pump up into a resistance area that is generally the opportunity where bears start looking uh, for their shorts and uh, the bulls should be stepping back waiting and waiting for their opportunity so when we get a situation like this we want to see sol pop higher for the bulls then reclaim that support that is the safest that is the safest system if you are a leverage trader. If you're a spot trader and things like that, it, it matters a little bit less. Okay, levels are important, but uh, you know if you're not if you're using high leverage, then you really need to be greedy with where you get your entries and things like that. So uh, that is why I gave that type of scenario because this is a rejection zone. So you can see what's happened here with Sol, and uh, we've had a nice little bounce and. 
potentially now these altcoins are in a downtrend okay until proven otherwise and uh, how do we do that how do we break that again we break the 618 we form new supports and then we go and then we can say okay no we are still in our confirmed uptrend here on Sol. so what, what i'm looking at key area here if we start dipping here and we start rejecting i would say the next area you're looking for buyers realistically and uh, that could happen this weekend if things turn really dark and dirty for us uh we're going to be looking uh, at around about say 90 to 91 uh, as a potential bounce area here for solana so right now exercise caution we are at resistance and uh you know bears this is your area um but bulls a little bit of caution here we want to pop higher first before uh we can start climbing into into these positions um right injective now uncle bruce uh the legend from sniper club dropped the signal uh yesterday i think it was in the sniper club and uh, it's just a typical uh 618 pullback here for injective and uh, this might be on so if we've got a green weekend this is a typical move for you we are looking uh for a push higher here so this is our 618 this is our horizontal we looked at this one yesterday uh 34 is a nice little support area and a nice clean exit you can see they're trying to hold this level uh for injective here so 33.1 that is uh you know that looks like your low if we close under that region then i would say balance of probabilities they're going to send us uh, down to this 30.5 region so we just need to keep our eyes on the next level in case they want to come and kill us this weekend um, but right now injective potentially along what i would say look out for 50 day moving average at 37 okay resistance area and then look out for the next high at uh, 39 so that is the potential play here and uh, just be disciplined if we do get a move this weekend um, don't get too greedy about it just uh, you know raise your stops quickly and uh, take profits quickly don't be too greedy and uh, you could get uh, a 15 percent move here uh, on injective potentially and uh, if the market turns bull after that well then we'd be looking uh, at range high 30 percent but for me uh, the trades i'm looking at at the moment and the trades i'm playing in very short tps i'm looking at eight percent ten percent twelve percent if we get that we take what the market gives us because it's been a challenging few days and, uh, you know, you've got half the world thinking up, you've got half the world thinking down and, you know, nobody actually knows. And we've seen it in the price action on a lot of these tokens, a lot of just choppy things ranging around, a lot of unknowns, you know, and, uh, you know, one of the one of the one of the camps is going to win this. You know, one of them is going to be like, oh, I was a bear. I told you. The other guys, I was a bull. I told you. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're just looking at price action in front of us and uh, we, we can guess as much as we want. OK, let's see who else is here. Leroy says, take profits before Sunday. Look, if we have a green weekend, it's always smart to take profits uh, before the end of the weekend. We know they come back for us. They always come back for us. Um, okay, let's see. Andres said, uh, got linked on a, on a, got wrecked on a link short. Um, okay, Vim says he needs TP zones. Vim, uh, just tell us which token. Was it the one, uh, one that I've just pulled out here? We're gonna, we can always take a look again uh vim's now looking for oh, imx he wants tp zones for imx uh okay vim i'm gonna try and uh, i'm gonna try and sort you out because you've asked me five million times here in the chats uh poll update 61 percent of you are telling me that link is going to 30. Whew. okay let's get this link uh, link chart out here hmm okay let's get this two bit account out here okay so Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. I see. I want it a little bit higher. I want it at the 618. I want it at the 618. I want it at 19.4. I'm not ready. Not ready yet. Um, okay. Let's see how this candle goes, guys. We're not leaving here without a without a without an entry here. That's for sure. We're going to do something here. Um, okay. Uh, so injective, we've covered. Uh, AVAX, just interesting. Some of the guys are talking about AVAX again. Uh, here's a big trade on Twitter, wrecked capital. And uh, Avalanche successfully retesting the macro downtrend. Okay, so he's looking at weekly things uh, on Avalanche. And you can see this uh, this little wick here that he's given us. Uh, if we try and zoom in here, hopefully you guys can see this thing. But he's given us a little wick here at about 28. And if you look at this AVAX chart, it's, uh, yeah, it looks okay. Um, there's a little bit of news on AVAX. They had some kind of upgrade or whatever it was to some messaging. Uh, I don't really speak uh, fundamentals and technical, uh, you know, uh, IT stuff that well. Um, but th something happened there. Anyway, 
the market digs it. It's starting to pump. And uh, this is what we're looking at now. So this is, a, <laughs> this is an interesting moment because David and I are both interested in a potential short year. So the bears in the house, okay? This is what you need to look out for, okay? If you are feeling bearish here and you think this is some kind of trap, what we can give you, okay, is a 50-day moving average. We can give you uh, some horizontals here for AVAX and uh, a possible rejection zone. So eyes on this area, because you're not out of the woods here, bulls. Um, this was your entry. We know this, the 382, okay? Typical break, 382 retest. We got this in the last uh, couple of days. We had all these altcoins on these 382s. What we need to look out for now, okay? Resistance area, resistance area. If we get that pop, bang, okay? Bulls, that's your buy, okay? That is your buy. You can't be buying this now into resistance, bulls, okay? And bears, this is your opportunity. If you are looking for shorts, this is where you're going to be looking uh, for your shorts. So if you were bearish all week and calling for lower, okay? Now you have to step up to the plate, okay? All those bears, okay? Now's your chance, okay? You said you were talking on Twitter. You were telling your friends. You were telling your mates in your chat groups, okay? That you guys are bearish. The market's going down, okay? Now's your moment. Here we go. AVAX pushing into a resistance area. Are you going to do it? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. This is your opportunity. Um, this is your time to shine. So here we are um, looking at a potential entry here. 36, 36, call it 37. If you start pushing 37 and you pierce that 50-day moving average and get a little rejection there, could be, um, could be a potential short for the bears. Let me know, Dave, how many bears are there? Are there, are there loads? Did you did you smell the bears on Twitter? I saw there was a couple floating around there. There is a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Look, well, now's their time, you know, guys. When we tee up these longs and we wait for these entries, it always feels quite difficult because by the time uh, a token gets to your entry if you if you're waiting for it to drop down to you by the time it gets to your entry things are pretty bearish and uh, it's the same way for the bears by the time it gets to your entry uh, things are pretty bullish and uh, you know the sentiment and you're feeling a little bit stressed out there and uh, you need to stick to your convictions so this is a solid zone 50 day moving average horizontals and uh, is it going to pop let's uh, you know let's see what's going to happen yeah guys let us know in the chats uh your thoughts here on uh on avax um let's see who else is here in the chat here for us uh dodge toshi says bears are getting squeezed um there's questions for dupe um crypto tony says it's subjective uh bogdan says uh Nier's looking good um alex david i like this alex guy alex what's happening don't short the global liquidity freight train and uh, i mean you can see this in the s and I, I just like i just feel like they're gonna absolutely rinse me here dave i feel <laughs> i mean everything is 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 talking to me that we need to be short on this s p including this pumping dixie the nfp news um the yeah. potential world war three <laughs> like everything is talking to me that we need to be uh short here and this thing is like a freight train exactly what alex <laughs> is saying here to us okay let's go cfx okay so here's a little here's a little trade now guys don't forget okay it's you can see clearly now we're not in our entry box now so you need to exercise a little bit of caution but chinese new year next weekend okay this is cfx chinese token what are the tokens that are interesting to us and uh, that have been i bought a bag of fufu that thing has absolutely wrecked me um at the moment so my last saving grace here is the cfx and uh, this is the four hour that we're looking at you can see we dipped into our entry box earlier we gave this uh, we gave this trade uh, on sniper club earlier today dipped into our entry box and uh, you know maybe it's going to hold so what i'm looking at here uh, for cfx traders this could potentially if we're going to run into chinese new year and things turn bullish and uh, they want to start pumping this thing and this could turn out to be quite a good little entry this is the four hour you can see this oscillator here uh, at the bottom and uh, it's starting to turn up. We've had a little dip into the entry box. This is a 618 region of interest. And uh, let's see how this plays out. So support I'm watching for CFX. Now remember, ideally, you need this thing to dip back into the box. That's the only way you're going to get a nice uh, clean entry here. 0 0.199. If you close under 0 0.199, so if we dip lower here, little reaction on that 50 day and we have a situation where it starts closing under that 0 0.199 i'd say cfx is done 
and uh, it's coming lower um, but right now anything in that box you can nibble you can get little buys in there and uh, remember bulls your second opportunity is always when we get that trend break so we could have a little bit of up down here for uh you know a day and uh, if we get that trend break that is the next entry for us and uh, the first tp uh, available or reasonable tp that i've got here is about uh 14 uh that we're looking at and that is from that uh, entry box lower down so if you're interested in cfx entry for you 0 0.206 down to 0 0.202 that is your entry exit loss of 0 0.199 candle close under 0 0.199 then that trade should be done and uh you know they're going to send us back to hell um tog says china don't buy they sell coin to have money for chinese year parties look we just uh, we we've seen what cfx has done the last two chinese new years so let's not fade that okay the uh, in 2022 they did 90 percent. i think in 2023 it did 200 percent uh over a week or two so let's not fade that uh move vesh said uh, oh vesh said fufu did 60 percent today or well, maybe fufu is rising from the dead um dave did you buy that fufu is it has it risen from the dead 60 percent i think i have a small bag and i haven't looked at it <laughs> <laughs> i just found whenever i looked at it, it was going down 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 so okay that's good news um okay let's see uh yon says a token called hello is pumping violently uh, Leroy says China is printing bees, so they are spending. Um, yeah, let's uh, you know, let's see. The, the, the Chinese economy is in a little bit of trouble at the moment. Um, okay, here's the next trade. Okay, this is Fetch again, another trade we gave earlier, Sniper Club, and uh, you can see that. I mean, they really stretched us here. Uh, we had a pullback just now, and uh, now it's firing. So that's uh, that's always a good sign. This Fetch, uh, your entry box for Fetch, anything, uh, zero point five six down to about. 0.54 is a nice little entry box for fetch and again we're not looking for big things here if this market's going to give us some kind of bounce or just some kind of short-term move we just want to be able to take advantage of that you know they've they've sweated us out this week they've really hurt us and uh, again doesn't mean we have to be super bullish you can see these tps are really low uh, small little moves we're looking for here and uh, small little culprit sculper players and maybe a little exit by sunday you know if this market turns green this weekend just take your profits grab these tps and uh look if you're wrong this thing's going to turn dark and uh you know all these altcoins are going to get filthy for us so support i would say for fetch where can you exit if this trade goes wrong uh anything under 0.538 okay so if the market turns this weekend and they decide to send us to hell 0.538 uh, is your exit area that's where you want to bail and uh, then we deal with levels lower down and uh, yeah we'll be looking at something around you know this 46 region uh, somewhere around there but uh, fetch so far so good uh, that is holding uh, sniper club traders if this starts moving a little bit more uh, you want to just make sure that you uh, raise your stops there and just de-risk uh, a little bit Okay, there is something I need to tell you guys about. I'm just checking uh, checking my whiteboard again. There's Dave looking bored. Dave, you're going to get your crack at it now, bro. Are you, nah, you got I'm some fire bored. for us. Can just... you check our can you check our li our likes in the meantime? Um because yeah. I only sell Sniper Club members for likes, bro. We don't just dish them out like this. Um you know, Dave called a 1 inch short on the last day of the month uh at Sniper Club on the 31st of January and he absolutely nailed it. And uh, Sheldon called, I think Sheldon shorted Sol. So they closed the month out with two banger shorts. I was bringing up the beginning of the month with some banger longs. And, uh, you know, that's what teamwork's about. And uh, absolutely smashed that uh, that month in for us. So I'm only going to sell Dave when we have the right amount of likes, likes here. Um, so keep me posted. Right. I need yeah, to tell you about this banter bags, guys. Okay. So for those of you that don't know what banter bags is, well, basically, uh, Uncle Run is investing in IDOs. Okay, and he's going to give that money back to the community Okay, when Banter has got 2 million subscribers and Banter Plus has got 350,000 subscribers. Okay, So he's investing in various IDOs called the Banter Bags for you guys uh, to benefit from, but you have to be subscribed to the channels. And uh, you know, take a look in the links below. And uh, don't forget, like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified uh when you go live when we go live okay so get stuck into uh banter bags 
And remember, in the link in this uh, in this description here on this video, there's links to the two bit exchange that you see I'm using. There's links to the Prime XBT. There's links to all these things uh, for you guys with special offers um, from us and uh, from me at uh, at Banter here. Okay, let's see what else we got in the chats. Uh, Sylvia says, "What's Fufu?" <laughs> Don't worry about Fufu, Sylvia. We had our, we had our hopes and dreams uh, on Fufu, and uh, then they started sending us down. So just uh, just be patient on Fufu. I wouldn't buy a sixty percent candle just yet. Uh, you need to let that thing settle a little bit. But uh, you know, with Chinese New Year a week away, could be something you might need to look for entries on. But uh, if it's pumped sixty percent, I'd be very cautious. Um, Captain Cutlet says Link is still pumping hard. Mihai says Manta has stopped us out. Well, I've got a Manta. I'm bringing Manta back because I know Manta stopped us out. Um, guys, remember, when we get stopped out, it hurts me too. Um, it's not a nice vibe, okay? Hate it. But, uh, you know, as a trader, I need to accept that uh, you, you get it wrong sometimes. You can't get it right every time. And all we can do is stick to our routine, stick to our system, and stick to what we know and how we read these charts. And I can bang these out for you time and time again but occasionally obviously we're going to get stopped we're going to get burnt i mean you've seen it and uh you know manta reversed on us it didn't give us what we wanted and uh, i've got a second bite for you guys so let's pull this manta up and uh, just show you uh, what's going on so this is where we were yesterday uh, on manta The Manta, we had this little break and we were looking for Manta to hold this horizontal. And you can see they tried, they pushed us a little bit. There were some buyers, they hung around here and we just didn't get that push that we were looking for. And they just bled us down here uh, a little bit. So Manta right now, where's a possible entry for you? So uh, what you can do is you can look for these horizontals that tie in with the 618. So this could be a nice little region again uh, that you can look for. Otherwise, plan B. Okay. This is always your second best entry is to buy that retest after you've broken the trend. So watch Manta now. Get it on your charts and uh, just get, get it on your watch list now. Keep your eyes on it. It looks like there's a bit of trend pressure here. And uh, if this market's going to go, Manta should start going with it. Okay, So eyes on this uh, at the moment. We've got trend pressure here. So if we get that break, you might get your opportunity. Uh, you might get an opportunity here uh, to buy. And uh, your risk currently is under this candle here so zero uh, sorry 2.89 okay that looks like your support for the day where they've dipped us down and now they've pushed us higher and uh, the big area that i'm interested in a little bit lower uh 2.84 okay so these are two hot zones uh that i like here for manta and then if we lose that area we need to understand you need to just sit back then and uh, let this thing bleed out and uh, we'll come reassess this in a week or two uh, when it gets down here. Okay, so if it starts fading on us, we, we move away, we forget about Manta, we check back in a week or so, and uh, we see where it is. If it starts uh, hitting one of our areas, then we come in, we take another look. Okay, Chris is asking for Rune. Um, so guys, an another very important thing, you know, you know DJ and Dave here, he mixes this music. He's a DJ. So these beats that you hear, that uh, sixty-five percent of you love, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just reading Kisho's message. He's saying something funny. Uh, so sixty-five percent of you love the music, and then there's a couple of grandpas there in the chats that complain about the music because they watch my videos on two X. Oh well, I feel I feel <laughs> sorry for you guys on two X. So maybe we need yeah. something slower, you know, <laughs> for those of you that want to watch the, the videos on 2X. But uh, yeah, guys, so drop in the chats, you know, if you want more music. Uh, yeah, Quinnett says superstar DJ. Here we go. So he's the man. He's, he's mixed this music for us. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's it's basically become my brand now. I mean, when I hear this music, I just feel so relaxed because um, I know it's time. Rainbow's Edge says... It's even more fun at two x. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, you you, you definitely start uh, you definitely start uh, feeling that vibe at two x. Okay, Dave, we we're coming to you shortly. Uh, how's this guy? Check this guy. Okay, Polygon Labs cuts nineteen percent of stock. Hmm. Sixty rolls for enhanced performance. For those that you don't know, Polygon is Matic. Okay, but isn't this the face of a guy that says, "I want a new Ferrari" or "I want a new Lambo," potentially? Yeah. <laughs> or a new jet. 
Well, let's uh, let's see if we, we can Lambo Matic. Um, so this Matic hasn't changed, guys. It's 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 the same trade we've been staring at for. This is why this market's been very frustrating in the last few days. Uh, this is us on the twelve hour, and uh, you know it's they started last weekend. Okay, so it's been in this tight little range since last weekend. So um, you know it, it's been like watching grass grow. You can be forgiven for getting bored. Uh, staring at this matic trade but it's not going away it's like like i was saying it's like a bad rash at the moment it's just sitting here uh, in this entry and uh, those of you that trade with time well i'm sure you would have bailed by now um, but uh, i'm not giving up on this matic just yet we still haven't had a candle close under the stop loss area okay so here we are and uh, you can see what I do. Uh, you guys, uh, I have mentioned this many times to you before, but you can see what these guys do. They send it down, okay? And they come and flush out these stops that you guys all have, and then they quickly send it back up. So that's why we often talk, when we're talking about stop losses, we talk about waiting for a candle to close under a certain zone. Otherwise, all they're doing is just pushing your trade completely red, and they're coming down, and they're grabbing your stops, and then they're sending it uh, straight back up so you got to watch out for these guys they're very sneaky like that and uh, that's why we, we we like to play uh you know play the game let the candle close first obviously when the market is absolutely shitting itself and it's dumping they're going to come and they're going to kill you and uh you know if you're sitting in cross accounts and you have that strategy on multiple trades at the same time you can get very hurt so if you want to play that strategy uh sometimes advisable have that in an isolated account Okay, in case they want to come and dump the market 20 30 percent which we've seen them do uh, a couple of times a year they do it to us so you need to understand they do come with that uh, occasionally so always be you know always just look after yourself manage your risk there and uh, that's the best way i do it is i'll keep it isolated for example um, especially if i've got multiple trades and uh, you know we'll, we'll wait for the candles to close under these areas before we make uh, rash decisions and uh, start jumping out of trades because often uh, you, you get smashed um black sale says when dylan bot what does that mean bro tell me what that means tell me what that means um aaron says best show on banter um he, aaron also says hit the likes it is um <laughs> since we're late you like that market absolutely shitting itself <laughs> um lakshay says can we get a sniper club giveaway look I, I can speak to shaldi we can figure something out i'm sure there's something uh there's some kind of competition we can run uh or get something like that going uh so yeah that's not out of the question we can do something um yeah let's figure it out let's figure it out okay one more Jesus, I got a lot of content. Wow. Okay, guys, Friday. Here's this. Okay, this thing has just risen now from the dead as well. Eric Crypto Man, okay, says lots of rose action this weekend, including the launch of Illuminex Swap IX and the first mean coin, Rosie. Okay, so Rose is back. Rose is the talk of the town again. And you would have seen today, if you opened your crypto watch lists, you would have seen that Rose was very high up today. At the moment, it's 10% up. And uh, I thought, well, guys, let me bring this to your attention quite quickly. Um, I don't know if we have a leveraged entry here because it has been moving a little bit today, but spot buyers and things like that. Let's just take note of where Rose is sitting currently. And uh, we might have a big move in play here uh, at the moment. So what I'm looking at here, potential upside. I'm not saying it's going there. Potential upside here, 91% for Rose. Okay, is this something you maybe want to get on your spot bag potentially? Um, mm -hmm. we've seen multiple situations where things like rune and link and all these guys wipe out these candles very quickly um you know it happens quite fast and uh, once it gets momentum these things start moving so i want to just bring this to your attention rose is a it, it isn't a look it is something to take note of right now if you're buying rose okay your safest exit is 13 percent away okay so that is a that is a close under this weekly low okay and your next your next exit is a 20 percent uh 20 percent close lower down so this is more suited to the spot buyers and things like that and uh, also those that uh, firmly believe that that was the bottom of the move and that was the bottom of the market um you know this could work for you so here's a spot potential spot position now i, I keep saying spot many times because i don't want you guys to ape into a 5x or a 10x long here um, because the risk is so high with the size of the stop but if you see this uh the size of this move here uh 90 odd percent risk reward of about four and uh you know slow burner could take a couple of weeks but there it is it's hot on twitter at the moment and uh, what i suggest is if it does start moving 
clip some profits off along the way maybe bring up your uh, your sell order and just protect yourself uh, in case this market does turn on us michelle says matics like dydx yeah no matic and dydx i think i need to quit um and i need to quit those <laughs> they're problems for me they're big problems for me okay okay and here's ape last one okay so this was a little short uh i caught last night okay i did tell some of the guys on sniper club that i was shorting this thing and uh, oh no was it this morning day it was this morning um yeah, but so. uh, 50 day 50 day moving average 100 day moving average 618 fib horizontal um there were multiple reasons why ape was going to reject in this area and you can see it just makes perfect sense here when it's pumping up into a region like that that's your, always going to be your take profit zones for those those of you buying that green candle on ape and buying that pump if you riding into a big resistance area you need to be careful there um and uh, you just need to make sure you are tping and uh, taking your profits because this is what they love to do they just send you back uh, on a massive area and uh, a nice big rejection so uh, what is the play here well now there's a potential ape long uh, opportunity and uh, this is a simple pullback onto what is now a 382 and a trend retest so those of you who are still bullish on ape I, I, dave i don't know the news there i think it was uh, um was it a news I mean, I, there was some kind of news bro uh, like something happened there and everyone got excited about ape and pumped into this yeah, it's, it's like every news event is, is a short opportunity like wld yeah. you know okay. I, I was watching that and metallic said thank you wld pumped 20 percent, and it dumped 20 percent. that sounds incredible <laughs> the theme of the story okay so so just to close this this uh this ape situation uh yeah we don't know if it's going to go back to that 100 day and that 50 day um it seemed to be just a news event that came out there on ape but uh, yeah, you've you've now done a round trip, okay? You're all the way back, and uh, if it's going to bounce, this is your area. If Ape is going to turn bearish, okay, you know what's going to happen here. We're going to lose this trend, okay? We're probably going to bounce at this horizontal, okay? And then we're going to end up with a situation where we're looking for shorts in that region, and we're sending it lower. Um, so that's pretty much uh, pretty much the plan there for Ape. So eyes on this level. If it loses 1.4, you're potentially then turning bearish, and things are getting very ugly um for ape okay i want to do a, a like inspection here it's yeah, just we confirm to, we got we enough to step light it up here. guys only 345 no that, that's amateur like. likeage no we're on oh never mind yeah i'm sorry yeah. update 480 okay yeah. 500 520 likes and i'm i'm unleashing dave on you Okay, now remember, I told you, I keep Simon in a cage. Well, it's worse. We keep Dave in a cage as well uh, in the Sniper Club. So just keep firing up those likes we'll, and we'll release him from his cage once a week uh, if you guys want. Uh, here they come. Okay, the likes are coming in here. Um, they're coming in hard and fast. Let's do a link check, check in here. Oh, I think we're going to get this entry here. Come on, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Are you leaving us? <laughs> Okay, well, Dave's Dave's run away. Okay, he said 30 yeah, seconds. Well, he ran away because you guys didn't sm smash the likes. Let's smash the likes, guys. Ah, Uncle Ray, nice of you to join us. Head of likes. <laughs> when did you arrive, Ray? I'm here. It's Friday. Well, let's smash the likes, though. Let's it's do Fry that. Ray. It's Fry Ray. It's Fry Ray. Um, 555 likes. No, we're going well. Uh, Ray, what, what do you think about this link short? I mean, do we have a bearish divergence at least? Because I mean, we we've definitely got, have the uh, to We've got people saying, I've got 63% of people telling me link is going straight through this to 30. I think we I all know what that means, Ray. I want to say straight to 30. There must be smoking something. And I want I to think we know what this means, Raymond. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> let's hand over the wheels. Let's hand over the wheels to Dave. Guys, link is pumping into my zone here. So the minute Dave's finished, I'm going to close that long and I'm going to short the shit out of this link and you guys better wish me luck. Okay, Dave, I'm bringing, uh, I'm bringing your screen on here. Cool. Okay, take us to Valhalla or send us to the depths of hell, whatever you feel. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'll show you guys a couple setups here. Um, the first one that I've had eyes on is uh, Lido. And uh, I actually took the trade last week uh, watching the show. 
that Dylan gave. We were testing the 50 day moving average and uh, it was a nice, nice pump. So we're kind of back down at this level, you know, round trip as they say, but I took profits. Hopefully you guys did too. And on the macro for Lido, we're, um, and I have this fib pulled from the 18th of December to the very high. We literally tapped the 618 and had uh, a reaction. Right, so when I saw that reaction, I actually entered the long um, not too long ago. So my entry is like at 2.826. Um, we're also in the small order block here. And I would say now is a good time to maybe enter a small starter position. You know, if we have a little wick here, uh, maybe add to the position. And if we hold the 618 and we have a pump weekend, then Lido should hit the target uh, that we initially had, which is the sniper zone area at 3.439, which is a nice 20% move. Now, in the scenario that we lose this level and Bitcoin comes down, which there are a little bit of bear, bear vibes on BTC for me, um, I am looking to enter Lido on the macro trend 786 okay so there's another zoomed out version here of lido you can see where the, i can i drew this trend from the 19th of october we have one touch two touch and i feel like there will be a third touch <clears throat> and that third touch also lines up with a nice little order block with less green which means that this is essentially a nice support area so those are the things that i look for when it comes to precision entries is a trend line, an order block, and a fib. We kind of have that situation here. So if we were to have some kind of scenario where Bitcoin dumps, um, Lido's probably gonna have this little 12% pullback in which uh, I will probably mark it long um, if we get that gift, if you will. So I would recommend setting an alert here um, at 2.494 for that and then yeah be very cautious you know we are going into the weekend there's typically always weekend shenanigans so just be cautious of monitoring your trade uh if you are to take the lido trade here um, yeah, i wonder what their plan is yet dave because i mean this market's absolutely ripping it mantas breaking trend everything's moving up i wonder what they have in store for us later yeah no it's, it's uh I think uh, if we were to pump into the weekend, then it's probably a trap uh, with Monday open to probably wreck the longs and everybody that took long. So, but you know, we just need some more data uh, to see how that goes. Mm. Um, but you know, again, we are in US session here, and you know, BTC is kind of ranging between this moving average, cute little 0.5 percent move, and. Um, you know, we are facing some kind of resistance here on Bitcoin. I, I just broke this little trend here that I had. So um, let's just pay attention to that. Um, the next one, as far as a short setup goes, is WLD. Um, I was bearish on WLD a week ago when we lost this SR flip. I had this as marked out as a support area and we lost it. And then whenever Vitalik had that news and we had the cute little 20% move here or whatever that was yeah 20% move I was just eyeing it and what I wanted to see was a maybe retest and the hold a reclaim of this trend line so we didn't see that in fact um, they took advantage of that little news event that Vitalik had and it was a 20% pump and dump and the loss of trend and the loss of this SR flip so last weekend uh, I actually shorted WLD scal or scalped it uh, from here to here, which was a nice 7% move, got out. Um, and I'm looking to maybe have that opportunity here this weekend. So if we are to have some kind of weekend pump um, or if US session continues to pump us a little bit, uh, I am looking to maybe grab an entry right here um, along this trend line. Um, so how big is that move into that, uh, into that, into that area? Yeah, so there's it's, it's a potential, you know, from where we're at now into this resistance box is like five or six percent. Okay, so, nice. so that's a nice little weekend move into a yes. nice rejection, though. Okay, love yes, it. Yes, yes. So I would say, um, 
I'm not in this trade. Like I'm just eyeing trades and I'm ready to snipe it if, if we get the opportunity. But I think 2.46 is a good uh, alert area to get me in front of the screen. And then from there, I'm just gonna wait for the reaction. And again, if I see a strong reaction where it reclaims the trend, then this trade, trade is invalidated. But um, I think that is not likely. And I think that whenever we kind of get into this box here, and it may, it may be a wick, because again, there's a lot of confluence here, right? You can mm. see this whole thing here, right? It's a lot of confluence. So are we going to get one here is the question. Okay, so I think so. So this is, I mean, this is exactly what I was saying in the beginning here. We, if we're going to be green here for a little bit, we're looking for small moves. We're not going to be greedy. We're not looking for 15, 20, 30% plays here we want to just start trimming profit and de-risking as soon as we can because we know this market's been tricky this nfp news shouldn't really be pumping the s p the dixie's pumping why is the s p um you know green today and uh, there's a lot of like conflicting things happening out there so you need to be super cautious here we need to be we need to take profits quickly the minute you can de-risk raise your stops uh, you don't want to be in a position here where we get a three four percent upside and then you get a round trip and you completely wreck yourself um i just want to pull up okay so link hasn't hit my zone yet guys this is two bit this is a, a sponsor two bits a sponsor they've got loads of sign up bonuses and all sorts of things here and they are very kyc friendly uh for traders so you know if you want to try two bit it trades like all these other exchanges and uh, you can do isolated and you can do uh cross positions and all these things uh you can see right now this link long of mine uh, is an isolated position uh, at the moment so what i'm going to do it hasn't hit my zone so i just want to go i want to go into the link here and uh, this is my area for my short so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my tp for my current long at uh, 19.36 okay then i'm also going to set an alarm here on trading view uh, just underneath there so that it pings me and uh, then i'll know to come and check in on link just now so if it does hit this area then it's going to ping me. We can look at link. We can see how it's reacting in that zone. And then we can maybe uh, grab our short in that area. But uh, for me, it's a high percentage short zone. And uh, I think a lot of the shorters were a little bit lower down here at this uh, weekly area. And I think they've been now, uh, they've been dealt with. So we'll mm -hmm. see what happens here at 19.34 or 19.4. I'm going to set my TP right now. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to 2 -bit. I'm going to click here, TPSL. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to say stock price or take profit 19.34. Okay, so that will bank then my profits. And uh, I've already got, oh, I should have a stop in place. Um, nice. Okay, so there we go. Um, so the TP is now set. Okay, and uh, yeah, so all systems go there. I'll get my alarm. And then uh, if, the, if it looks right at the time when we're hitting that big zone, uh, then I might be laddering in. Dave, what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about this link setup here? I think it's... Uh... I think it's coming down. <laughs> uh, you know, like you, you, you think about what most people are doing and the whales know what we're doing, right? They see the order book. So yeah, there's that little short squeeze there. I think you're absolutely right. I think we are going to see a little big pump, uh, especially if we're going to have this weekend pump. Um, it could be dramatic, uh, but I think those are all shorting opportunities, laddering opportunities mm. um, to then write it down with a cool reset. Yeah. Okay, guys. And uh, yeah, I mean, these, these trades are green now, but again, we can't get too excited uh, with ourselves. We, we need to just watch this market closely. It feels like there's a couple of traps here uh, in store for us as well this weekend. So don't get ahead of yourselves. We don't want to get over excited. We see a couple of green trades, things like that. Um, you know, we just be cautious, really just be cautious. Um, and, uh, you know, Sheldon called it this week. He called it beautifully. And uh, again, yeah. we're not out of the woods yet. We could yeah. easily see uh, these lower levels. And, uh, you know, right now we are we are looking at this as a potential small term bounce. OK, that's it. OK, take your profits and we reassess where we are. Mm -hmm. um, Sniper Club in the link. Uh, link in the description should be Sniper Club. You guys know Bruce. You don't see David as much as Bruce and Simon, but he's there. He's one of the legends uh, in there dropping setups all day long. So catch him there. Dave, have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Good luck out there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chat later. Um, okay, guys, have a good weekend. You've got the you've got the plan. You've got the levels. You've got the areas. Um, yeah, a little bit fishy out there at the moment. Um, just be careful.
okay weekend time again monday if they come and dump us sunday night monday we here again we checking these levels out and uh, we're looking for entry so enjoy it don't over trade keep it real uh see you guys later Thank you.